is another part of our interview with Mark Stein of Vanilla Fudge. This is Rock History Music. A lot of people were talking about the fact that Robert, Robert Plant, yeah. Jimmy was different. Jimmy had been a session player. A lot of people talked about in the beginning, and I didn't get that because I only, again, because of age, got them into it later, but that he wasn't refined in the beginning. Like people balked at Robert Plant going, it, being in this, this Yardbirds ish well, kind of band. When, when Zeppelin first, I don't want to sound condescending, but if that's the word, but when Zeppelin first opened for us in the beginning, they were just, well, we were all kids, but we were, we were probably the, the most intense live band in America at the time, 1968. Anybody that was around and saw those concerts back then. And when Zeppelin opened for us, they, they were just wet behind the ears. And I used to What did they tell Robert. you about? Let me interrupt you. I'm sorry. Yeah. What did they tell you about this band that was opening? Okay, this band, what did they tell you? How did they introduce the fact that this British band was trying to break into the U.S.? How did they present that to you guys? I was at my manager's house out in Long Island one night, and our agent by the name of Ron Terry was there, and he said, this band called Led Zeppelin uh, is going to be open for you. And, you know, told me, you know, obviously Jimmy Page was with the Oddbirds, but uh, Plant, Robert Plant and John Bonham and John Paul Jones, Jonesy, was, they were unknowns in America at the time. And uh, Jimmy came over to America and he put this band together. He called it Led Zeppelin. We became label mates. And he said, these guys are going to open for you. And he played some of the tracks for us before the album was out. <laughs> and the first song I ever heard by Led Zeppelin was You Shook Me that night. And I was like, really, I was like, wow, this sound, guy sound amazing, you know? And uh, that's how it started. And uh, we started playing shows in the Northwest and bang, 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 dressing door, knock. And it was Bonzo, John, Paul, uh, John, uh, John Bonham said, is it all right if I come in? I want to meet you guys. And they all were behind them. And we became like, we got on great. And I thought these guys were like, wow, these guys are really cool. But they must and have been intimidated by you guys. They were in the beginning. I mean, I used to tell Robert Plant, don't get mad at me, Robert, but what's true is true. I mean, we were kids. I, you know, I used to tell him, you got to move a little smoother on stage. You got to move a little more. And uh, I remember telling Jimmy Page uh, that you got to get bigger ramps for your guitar, you know? <laughs> it's, it's the truth, man. It's so weird, but... <laughs> but uh, I, yeah, I mean, after about four or five shows, these guys got it together so fast. And uh, I mean, by the second tour, um, they were just so amazing, you know. They were the most passionate rock and roll band that ever lived. If anybody saw Zeppelin at that time. I remember telling their wives and girlfriends that second tour, I said, I said, your guys, they're going to be bigger than the cream before you know it. Because cream was the big the big uh, arena band back then, the big, you know, uh, so obviously they uh, they became who they became. And uh, it's an amazing story. I remember hanging out with, we were at Tim Bogart's house. He used to have an apartment by the river on the Jersey side of New York, you know, the Hudson River. And Zeppelin used to come up there. We used to, you know, get loaded, drink, and <laughs> we used to listen. On an old stereo, we'd listen to their first album, hanging out together and just having a great time, you know? So when we we had a lot of fun on the road together and uh, and suddenly they just took off to lands that were unknown. <laughs> it became so huge, so fast, yeah. you know? And I remember it really bothered me because I, it was like losing a girlfriend, you know? It was like, all of a sudden they got married to the king, you know? They became so huge and so rich so fast. And they were gone. <laughs> Did you ever talk to them after that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. I mean, I jammed with Zeppelin one night. I, I remember seeing John Paul Jones in Malibu. I was driving down the street in the 70s, and I recognized him. I jumped out of the car and went into the house. And uh, At the time, Robert was in a motorcycle accident, I think, mm -hmm. around 70. What was it? 75-ish? Yeah. He was there in a cat in a whole full leg cast, and anyway, they uh, they invited me down to rehearsal in L.A. that night. And they said, but don't tell anybody we're here. I said I won't. So I went down and I ended up hanging out, and we actually jammed that night. 
that got around real quick. That was pretty cool. And then the next time I think I saw Robert was, uh, I think it was at the Atlantic 40th anniversary in 88 at Madison Square Garden. We were all hanging out. That was an amazing rock and roll week. So uh, yeah. Got a lot of history here, my friend, you know? No kidding. Like crazy. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music.